Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my everyday hair routine. So I start off the day with my hair in a bun, so I'm just gonna let this all out, just running my hands through my hair, and as you can see, it's quite voluminous, quite puffy, um, but not too bad. So I'm just gonna run my hands through that, and then I'm gonna brush it through with a hairbrush, and I'm using my GHD hairbrush. This one has really nice bristles which don't damage the hair, so I always use this one first thing in the mornings. Then I'm going to add a little bit of heat protection using the GHD heat protection mist and I'm not being too liberal with that, just running it into the ends and then brushing through my hair again. Then I'm going to create a middle parting using a, um, a comb for that and then brushing the hair through again. So I've separated my hair into two halves and I've switched on my GHD Azores um, curling irons and then I'm taking a small section of hair at a time bending it round and just curling it as usual. So I'm going to continue doing this same routine throughout the rest of my hair. I'm really not too precise when it comes to my everyday hair because at the end of this I'm just going to be making them big and voluminous afterwards so perfect curls really aren't necessary but usually I run the straighteners down the hair and then when I get to about a third from the end I start to twist away from my face to just add that loose curl in the end and as you can see I'm just repeating this all the way around my head. I don't even bother to separate my hair usually just because I'm lazy and I find it works just as well this way. So the second half of my hair is a little bit more tricky. Sometimes I hold that hair that's on my head in my mouth, but today I thought I would put it on my head. Um, and then just repeating the same process around the other side of my head. I always tend to go back over the curl and twist it again with my fingers um, just as it's cooling. And I find this makes the curls last a little bit longer, so that's a good little trick. And then again, just taking section by section, you can see each section is about an inch thick. Um, I find this is the most I can get away with. The straighteners do go up to, I think it's 180 degrees, which is the perfect temperature for curling and straightening, but I find that any more and my hair doesn't take to the curl quite so well. So just repeating this all through my head and occasionally I do alternate the way that I straighten my hair like the angle that I hold the straighteners because then it stops the curls from all grouping together. You can see here I'm flipping it around and that's so that the curls don't all bunch together. So then I'm switching off my straighteners and I'm going in with some dry shampoo and this is the first thing that really does help to build in some more volume. I'm just using a collab one and putting that all through the roots and then running through the curls with my fingers. You can see they're not too perfect, which is absolutely fine for my everyday hairstyle. And then I'm just smoothing out the ends using a Show Beauty hair oil. I love the smell of this one, I love the packaging, and it really helps to create some nice shine to my hair, which is quite rare for blonde hair, but as you can see it does look quite shiny here. Then I'm adding more volume by flipping my head upside down, running my fingers through my hair, and then just kind of bouncing it with my fingers. So here we go, this is what the finished look looks like. It's just very big, not too perfect, I just like it to look pretty natural. And most days I just leave it like that. But no, we're not done here. There are more things that you can do if you want to switch up this hairstyle. I'm just adding in a little bit of holding spray to keep that shape in there. And then I'm taking a fine tooth comb and brushing through the curls. This helps to loosen them and I think it gives them more of like a Hollywood curl effect, which I really, really love. And if I'm going out the house, uh, maybe doing some photos or doing a video, then I'll normally brush through them like this. That's it from me, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, thumbs up and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye!